Pedro. O E O one. Odd, even, or neither. Okay. So this is a little bit weird, so let me try to explain. So a function is classified as odd, like an odd function, even as an even function, or neither as neither odd nor even, if it follows these rules. Now, I'm gonna do a couple of examples, but let's try to understand a little bit what this means first. Basically, for a function to be classified as odd, every time I see x in that equation, if I were to replace that x value, or those x values, with a negative x, and then I were to simplify, because we don't want to have a negative x there, and the result of that function gives me a negative f of x, meaning whatever the function was, but I put a negative in front of it, then that function is classified as odd. Okay, So I would replace a negative x, and if it equaled this, then it would be odd. The function would be classified as even, and this is the easier one. If I were to replace every x value in that equation with a negative x, and it equaled just whatever the function started with. So I'm going to start here first. So the function f of x equals x squared. This will be an even function. Now, let's see why. So that's what f of x is. If I were to replace this x value with a negative, meaning every time I see the x, I replace it with a negative x. Well, if I were to simplify this, negative x squared is just x squared because that's how it changes. Now I know that I've equaled, when I had a negative x, it equals what the function started out as, x squared. This classifies as even. Now let's try and see another one. Um, let's do f of x equals 3x squared. Well, if I were to replace every time I see x with a negative, I better get what I started with, right? So 3 negative x squared. Well, again, negative x squared is x squared because negative x times negative x is x, right? 3x squared is what I end up with because the 3 has no bearing on this. That is an even function because it's the same thing. Now, let's talk about an odd function. Let's do f of x, and this is certainly going to be odd. Let's say x to the third power, okay? Now, if I were to replace that x value with a negative x, meaning uh, negative x to the third power, well, negative x to the third power, right, is negative x times negative x times negative x. Well, these two x's will cancel out to make a positive, but a positive x times a negative x is, well, you said it, a uh, negative x. Meaning the negative sign, I changed this around completely because the result of that is negative x. Because if I multiply it three times, right? To the third. That means I took this function and I put a negative in front of it. Meaning I took the function as it originally started, x to the third, and had a negative put in front of it. That's what this means. It means whatever the function was, but a negative in front. This was what the function was, and now there's, an, there's a negative in front of it. Just like this one. This is what the function was, but it doesn't have a negative anymore because it canceled out because of the square. So let's try to do another one. And I want to get a good example here. Okay, so now we're there. Let's do x to the third plus one. And I'm going to have to bring this with me because... It's a better representation. So let's say I had a neither function. This is going to be a neither function. f of x equals x to the third plus 1. Okay, now, let's say that I replaced the x value with a negative, because that's kind of the rule, right? We want to replace the x with a negative. So I will have negative x to the third power um, plus 1, which is uh, negative x to the third plus one, which turns out to be x to the third plus one, which is not equal to what this is, okay? Which means it's not even. And it's not odd either, because what happens here is this negative, this positive one would have to turn to a negative. So it's gonna be negative x to the third minus one, but it doesn't equal that, okay? Because the, the negative only pertains to the x. This would have to change to a negative one for it to be an odd function. So because my result of really 
cubing a negative x remains a negative x, but it doesn't change the value of the positive one. It's neither odd nor even. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, it means that this is a terrible characteristic. However, you can bet your bottom dollar or your top dollar that if there is a function that has a even exponent, the likelihood of it being an even function is high. If your function has an odd exponent, the likelihood of it being odd is also likely high. Now, what we get into trouble with is when there is just a variable to an exponent and then a constant on the end. That usually makes this neither. Okay, so even functions typically will have an even exponent now, if there was like a plus seven on here, that might change things a little bit. An odd function will likely have an odd exponent, unless again, there is a constant on the end with no other variable, okay? So we'll practice this a little bit. Odd even is not something that we worry about so much, but it, the rules are very important. So basically, if you wanna get anything from this video, understand the rule or memorize the rule because you will see the rule again.